Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. I'm Lucy, an English girl who's been living in Sri Lanka for over three years now with my husband who is Sri Lankan. This is Lahiru. You are Tarzan though, aren't you? If you missed last week's episode, we resumed the renovations on our house and got to knocking down walls. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> and moving our 2,000 litre water tank up the land. Even though it was a huge struggle. I literally want to cry. I don't want to do it anymore. We got the job done and we make a good team. That's for sure. <laughs> and this week's video is where we finally got around to hosting our first ever meetup. As always, a huge thank you to our patrons and channel members for supporting our channel and adventures. that I've got bad news. Bad news? Yeah. Mother. Bad news? Yeah. More bad news. We've got no gas to make coffee. <laughs> you know, yesterday night gas is you know, coffee. Look at it. Go back to the way. Good morning, monkeys. It seems that our monkey family in our area have grown. They're really shy, but I've just come to see them all come up through the trees this morning and quite a few of them have babies. They're really lovely. I love watching them just playing in the trees and it's just amazing to witness the nature so close to our home. Every day they come up from the lake and they come up through all the trees here over our mango tree, these other trees, I don't know, and up to like halfway of our land. And now they started jumping across to our coconut tree and then across to our jackfruit tree, which is like in the middle of our land. Whereas before they were always just staying on the outside, on the like perimeter trees, but now they're coming further in, but they're super shy. They always know, like I creep out every time I see them to try and catch them on camera, but they know I'm there. They're so clever. So they're always so shy and they just run away and freak out and go up the trees so fast. Alright, so far it's been 24 hours of uploading a video. Let's see how far we've got. 96%. <laughs> We're nearly there. You want some smoothie? No, thank you. Okay, let's go. And she starts. Okay, so today we are off to do our first ever meetup, which I'm really nervous about actually. We were meant to do it last year, but then we had to cancel like a couple days before because we both got COVID. And then we finally got round to arranging it again. So today we're heading to Gorncourt to meet everyone. But maybe no one will come. <laughs> I'm really scared. Maybe no one will turn up. No, I'm really excited. I hope people come and it, it will be a good chance to meet people and get to know the people that watch our videos because everyone watches our videos and they know everything about us, everything about our lives, but we know nothing about the people that watch our videos. So 
I think it's a really good time to to get to know you guys basically. Also we've been having so much rain so I was like really worrying today that we were going to have rain this morning when we woke up. It rained so much in the night. So far so good. No rain. I hope that the weather stays on our side because where we're going to be meeting there's no shelter I don't think it's just like out in the like grass area in Gaultort so if it rains we're going to get soaking place because we want to get some snacks for our subscribers if they turn up <laughs> I'm really scared that no one's gonna come but yeah if people do show up then we have lots of lovely snacks to offer them so come to our meetup people <laughs> One person at least. We have one person, it's you. Yes. You are our number one fan. Of course. Turn the camera around so everyone can see our number one fan. <laughs> it's Anna. Oh, wait. We have a very special moment right now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, wow. Open it. Pencil carvings. I, That's cute. I plus, like, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, I don't want to ruin the packaging. Carving on the pencil leaf. You can help open it. Wow. That's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, That's amazing. amazing. Oh my god. Can you see? How did you do that? Lahiru Lucy. Oh wow, thank you so much. That is a talent. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. And you do this yourself? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Oh. That's so great, thank you so much. Love it. We work in this sanctuary like five to six days a week. <laughs> That's what we do when we're not making our videos. And there's over 3,000 jobs. I'm now trying to film this bird that is moving every time.
We have had the most amazing time today. I was really scared that no one would turn up to our meetup, but we had people coming and it was so wonderful to meet people and get to know people who watch our videos and have been watching our videos for years or months. So really awesome and I really feel like having these connections, it's like making friendships. They're not just subscribers now, like they're our friends and a couple of the girls that we met there, we went for coffee after and I just feel like they're gonna be my friends forever. So love you guys, thank you for coming. And yeah, it's just been a really amazing day. We're gonna head back to Ahangama and get on with our day. I'd love a red banana. Let's go. Happy Yamuda. Oh my god, he's just chilling in there. <laughs> hey, don't eat all the plastic, buddy. Mage Samia Godak, buddy guinea. Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful day in the south of Sri Lanka. I'm only joking. It's horrible. We've been having so many thunderstorms just recently. So, for our meetup, we were so, so lucky because either side of the meetup has just been so much rain thunder and lightning and yeah it's really bad today I'm driving to work Sweet. I'm driving to work on my own the home is really sick for the last two days we've just been in bed I've never seen him like this actually it's really really bad so he's actually listening to this morning and he's I ended up taking Lahiri to the doctors because he was actually scaring me. He was so sick. I was really worried. He never gets this bad. And I was also feeling unwell with the virus, but nowhere near as bad as him, which is funny because I usually get it worse, but not this time. I'm on my way to work this morning, and I want to show you guys. I want to take you guys with me because this is what it's like when
like the weather. Now it's starting to rain again at the same time as feeding. And I've been so busy today, we're really short staffed because everyone seems to be sick with this virus. So we're short staffed, but we are powering through. I've not actually filmed as much as I wanted to do today. Let's start the feeding. Yamu, yamu! the craziest part of the day and the most important time of the day Ow. Um, and it's a mission to feed well at this site we have oh, at this site we have over 1200 dogs and then at top site there's another 900 dogs so it's a huge task to feed all these dogs every day and to try and observe and monitor and make sure that they're all eating that they're all healthy because if a dog stops eating then you know there's an underlying issue so it's a super important time of the day <laughs> and a crazy one. who come to the sanctuary get a second chance in life, like little Limpy here, who is disabled and a double amputee. And we also try to take some of the disabled dogs to the beach if the weather is nice and we have enough volunteers. It's a great way for the disabled dogs to have extra enrichment and hydrotherapy, as we see many disabled dogs who come to us learn to walk again, like Prince Charming here. this little black girl here she's so cute she's so sweet and I'm hoping that when I build up her trust I can eventually catch her and get her sterilized because her mum so they both got dumped in this area near our house and her mum is already well she was pregnant she's just given birth again so there's gonna be a load more puppies in this area so that's why it's super important to sterilize the dogs that are in your community so that there's not unwanted puppies that are just going to end up suffering because nobody wants to look out for them and yeah ah, okay i'm nearly at home i'm gonna see how Rue is Hello, Rosie. How are you feeling now? It's fine. No. It's better? Better? Yeah, it's better. What was wrong? For Finland, hot. Yeah, really hot. Yeah. And painful. This is body painful. Yeah. And we need to introduce Maverick to YouTube. <laughs> Maverick is a little neurological puppy that came to Animal SOS like last week, a couple weeks ago. Um, he's had some sort of like head trauma, so he's got a bit of a brain injury, which he, that's why he's wobbling all the time. But he's super cute, so we've got him to our home just to foster him. Like, we're not properly adopting him because we have so many animals now. Um, but yeah, we're fostering him in hope that we can find him a home. Because I really want people to know that even if a dog has a disability, like if they're blind or if they've got a little bit of a neuro issue like him, <laughs> Or if they're like disabled or are missing a limb, it's okay. They're still okay. They're still able to find a home and have a family that love them. So <laughs> that's what my hope is for Maverick is that we can find him a home. Cause he's super special. He's so lovely. He's such a cute little puppy. And it would just be a shame for him not to be able to find a home because he's got a bit of a brain issue. But yeah, that's Maverick. He's so cute. He's gonna have his lunch now. You gonna have your dinner? 
Yeah. Can you go on the floor and do poo poos? Oh my god. <laughs> We loved meeting you guys and we hope to meet more of you in the future. So if you'd be interested in us hosting another meetup, let us know in the comment section. Plus, if you're an animal lover, make sure to pop by the sanctuary to meet all the dogs. We'd love to see you there. Anyway, see you next week for a Q&A session. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, you buddy, guinea, huh?